Okay, so what we got going on today? All right, so I'm not really a fan of my rock with phosphate mids. I mean, I've had them for like six months. I've, I've tried everything. I just don't like the tweeters. The tweeters is unfucking bearable. So I want to give Sundown a chance. I'm already running Sundown sub. I figured let's complete the look, right? So I'm giving these E series a review today. Go see how they hook up. Right here, we got a set of components. Here they go outside the box. Here goes a tweeter. Nice little Sundown audio logo. There goes your mid. Nice little cone on it. I love this little basket. Looks like they put some real thought into it. The coaxials are the same thing. Uh, by the way, these come with speaker grills if you need them. All the wiring you could possibly need. What I really like is it's a very small, extremely small uh, crossover. Speaking of compact things, I'm, I'm running full Rock Crofosca amps right now. And I'm just not a fan of what I paid for them. And for the price of this higher power amp that I need, and this uh, highs amp, that, that's what it costs just to get my, my um, R2-1200 that's in the car right now. So I want to see how Tarm sounds. If it's bad, I'll send it back. But what's so significant is look how small this is, bro. You can literally put this anywhere. So rather than hook all this up, I'm going to do a quick bench test. Got my mid. I got this. Got my crossover. I'm going to run these wires directly to my amp and see, you know, just how do they sound. All right, so I connected them, listened to them forgot to record basically i like the mids the tweeters aren't that loud and the first thing i know is these need power that's actually okay because i turned down my rockford amp because i um i didn't like the tweets they were so bright i had to turn the fucking volume down so i have the power i'm i think with this one i might actually be able to apply it because like i said the tweeter isn't that pronounced it isn't in your fucking eardrum man i hate that shit Tweeters fit and screw into each other on the back end. Had to do a little fabrication work, but yeah, look nice. I know this is a, a loss of output. These need some power. They need some power, man. Uh, I might even send back that tar amp to get a stronger one. But they did sound good when I cranked the volume up. So, you know, there's that. <laughs> so I got the back door in, and this shit sounds beautiful. So I think what's going on is these are 100 RMS, these are 60. I, I might just have to buy a stronger amp. The that component set just need more power because this by itself sounds beautiful all right cool time for the bass demo so here's the setup i can use some wire looms to help clean this up some but i want to make sure i liked how it sounded first see we got the tar amps ts400 running the highs and mids then for the bass we got the md1800 by the way i um this has a clip light when you set the gain on it and this 1800 put out a clean like 2200 watts before it started clipping i got a game match down to 1800 this i have it uh set pretty much to its mass volume and uh yeah crank this shit the song is still in this bitch by gucci man i like this song because it hits some crazy fucking lows and you're gonna see it
Mind you, that's 112. Look at that. I look like shit, but it's been a busy couple days swapping the whole system. My honest review is these Sundown E components are really fucking good, bro. Really good. I'm coming from Rock Graphoscate, and Rock Graphoscate, I didn't like the sound, man. It was like, for every mid you bought, it, it was like you bought two tweeters. The shit would like just, it being, yeah, I look at passages, I watch them start digging in their ears. It's like, it's like this sharp bite that you can't get rid of. But these Sundown E's, it sound really good, man. They they got more bass, more mids, and then they calm down on the tweeter side. This is beautiful. I love how this sounds. And that tar amps, I, for a ninety dollar Amazon amp, that shit sound good. I thought it was gonna sound like shit. It sounds really good. So I I, I gotta say, man, the big brands they days are fucking numbered. And then that sundown, you know how sundown coming, but that MD eighteen hundred finally gave it the power it needed and it's clean as shit so i just want to say if you're on the fence with any of these brands sundown audio tar amps go buy that shit bro it's it's good shit the, the tar amps all of my tar amps cost the cost of that one rockford phosphate bass amp and i mean does rockford phosphate make good shit yes they do bro but it is not worth the price difference of what i paid for this so i'm about to sell all that shit i will say these sundown e's need some power um Overall, I lost a bit of volume, but the volume that I'm getting, I fucking love. I mean, like, let's say whatever I was getting on Rock for Fosca at 20 on the head unit, it now takes me 22, maybe 24 to get here. That's not that big a fucking deal, bro. I'm telling you, buy this shit. And these uh, Sundown components, they really are 100 watt RMS. I'm throwing 60 at them. They, they probably need the full 100, but I'm more than satisfied. So, yeah, that's my review on this shit. So once again, thanks for watching. You know, if you enjoyed it, like and subscribe. I guess the lesson learned here is if you're on the fence about something, just try it. You never know. And uh, yeah, you don't need to pay out the ass to get some good quality shit anymore, man.